and the award for the most exciting entertainment presenter goes to none other than Sam Dandy. Good morning, Sam Dandy. Thank you for joining us on the show. I'm so honored to be having this award. I'd like to thank my mom. <laughs> 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 Seeing as the head, is, head is held yesterday and a lot of awards were given, mm -hmm. I thought I'd give you that award here on Breakfast Central. He deserves it. Sweet. He deserves it. All right, go ahead. What's going on in the entertainment time? Well, like you said, the Headies happened, right? The 15th edition of the Headies Award held yesterday, the 4th of September, at the Cobe Energy Performing Arts Center in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. Now, it was hosted by American actor, comedian, and producer Anthony Anderson and Nollywood actress Osaza Godaro. Now, the highly coveted award saw Nigerian singers Olamide Wizkid and Adekule Gold winning individual awards amongst a list of other artists. Now, Olamide, of course, won the Best Rap Album category. At this year's Headies, he won with the album Carpe Diem. Now, this was Olamide's first time back at the Headies ever since, you know, that incident in 2016. Hmm. And it was a fallout, of course, with music producer Don Jazzy at that particular award. Now, the both of them have gone on to bury the hatchet. Also, Wizkid's hit song, Essence, featuring, of course, Incredible Thames, won the Best Collaboration and Best R&B Single at the 15th Headies. Now, let's also remind you that Wizkid happens to be the artist with the most nominations, with up to 10 this year alone to his name. He also won Album of the Year with his Made in Lagos deluxe album. Now, singer Ben Singh, born Daniel Ben Singh, now formerly called Buju, emerged as a winner of the next rated award, beating the likes of Ira Starr, Zino Liski, Lojay, and Ruger. Now, with the award, Buju goes home with the 2022 Bentley Bentega. Now, Buju is a Nigerian singer, also known as Buju to your ears. Now, Buju is an acronym for Beauty Underneath Just Understood. Now, one of the attendees that caused eyes to roll at the event is the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, who was there to present an award. A Twitter user had something to say. Of course, we can see him looking stunning there representing us, but some people, of course, met this with mixed reactions. Now, someone named him Timmy Deary says, why is Sonwolu at the Headies? Don't you have a state to fix? Another user identified as Belema said, why on God's green earth is Sonwolu at the Headies in Atlanta? They ran from Lagos and he followed them there. Now, the organizers also took some flag for singer Casey's award. The single originally known as Kingsley Okoko bagged the award for the inspirational single of the year for his song, Cultural Praise. Now, it was truly an interesting evening, you know, of sights and sounds at the awards and Nigerians are still buzzing about it. Now, quick one, Oliver Nosa, what moment stood out for you? If you saw any videos or any pictures or you watched it, what do you think stood out for you guys? Um, I mean, from the whole awards, you know, first of all, I agree. What's the governor doing there? You know, and then, you know, second, uh, for me, I, I, I'm a huge, I am Ira Star fan, you know, so I really wanted her to get the next rated, you know, but. I agree uh, with you. I love her so much, but she did win a Viewer's Choice Award though, a Hedy's Viewer's Choice Award. So it was, it was okay. Yeah, it doesn't mm. come with a Bentley. <laughs> well, it doesn't. Well, the people are criticizing Solo. What he's wearing on his neck is a... A logo of his, uh, it's a necklace that, that has the Headies Award on it, mm -hmm. on it. So it's basically him showing his support for the Headies Award. In some sense, I mean, the organizers have explained why they took the awards to Atlanta, stating that you know they're trying to present Africa to, on the global scene, present our awards on the global scene. So basically, being able to attract foreign attention in some sense to ensure that they see the work that we're doing, and then there's foreign col collaborations. I mean, they did an event here in Nigeria with, I, I think it's at the U.S. Embassy where they had a collaboration of some sort. Right. So, well, yeah, it's understandable that, I mean, people will feel differently about it. I, I am one of those. Um, I don't agree. Um, um, I, 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 yes, it might make a little sense that you're trying to you know, give it more, more international exposure and all of that. Right. You know, you want to have better collaborations and all of that. But, you know, it still takes away, you know, it still, you know, brings us back to, you know, you know taking away value from here and, you know, mm. placing more value here in Africa. No mm. one is taking the Grammys anywhere else, you know, aside, mm. you know, in the U.S. So we should be able to pull it off here. The governor should be here in Lagos, you know, in Africa, I mean, wherever I they choose. Um, of course, presenting those awards. It, it just is not a good enough experience. But you know the funny thing? What we is? have never really been pleased. We, when they do it in Nigeria, we'll complain. We'll take it out. They take it outside and we'll complain. Um, Usas was put to co-host uh, with the American uh, uh, compare. He's not a compare, of course, but like he compared the event. Right. And they criticized that as well. Hmm. Why is she comparing with him? Hmm. You know, it's just... 
I mean, they're doing something right. So well right. done to them. He did throw. He did say something which was quite interesting about Nigerians. He said how we find humor in everything using mm. Banana Boy's last last song right. as a reference, saying right. that uh, somebody was talking about heartbreak and everyone's mm. you know they're joking about it, which is something that we Nigerians do hear a lot. So well, God, we we wish them all the best. I, I I know you still cannot you know ignore the fact that maybe he wasn't really you know the right choice you know for a host. Um, um, of course, I'm just well, super Well, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> they must have had their reasons. That, yeah, right. I mean, of course, there are tons of more winners. And uh, all you need to do, of course, is uh, keep it locked to News Central. Uh, entertainment we will definitely give you all the other I'm winners. I'm sure you will give us a scope, and I'm looking forward to that. But kudos to Osas. Uh, mm -hmm. Well done, girl. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's keep on going. Still in West Africa, but this time in the Gold Coast, where the police have arrested 42 suspects during Stone Boys at Shemine to the World Concert, held on Saturday, September the 3rd, 2022, at the Sakasaka Park in the Greater Accra region. Now, the suspects who were being held for various offenses attacked some of the event's fans with toy guns, cutlasses, knives, scissors, and other offensive weapons at the different locations towards the end of the concert. According to reports, the items retrieved from the suspects include two toy pistols, 10 mobile phones, five cutlasses, five jack knives, three pair of scissors, one wig, and a tablet. Now, the Ghana police have assured uh, the public that all the suspects will be taken through the due process of the law. Now, the Asha Mind to the World Concert is an event organized by Stoneboy as a way of giving back to this society. Now, the multi-award winning Ghanaian musician lived in Asha Mind for a great part of his life. Now, this year's event marks its seventh edition as the show still remains the way Stoneboy remembers his humble beginnings. Now, someone talked about pictures, of course, of Stoneboy and Chateau on stage. But, of course, there are a lot of pictures and videos. You might go check it out on socials as well. Well, Saturday and Sunday evening were a big deal in Hollywood as well. The Creative Arts Emmy took place and honored some of the outstanding work in the variety of television programs, genres, weekly series, and exceptional work in the animation, reality, and documentary categories. Now, one of the night's big winners was Chadwick Bosman, who was honored with a posthumous Emmy Award for his outstanding character voiceover performance in the hit series What If. Now, his performance of Star Lord Chala in What uh, Chala's Becomes a Star Lord episode earned Chadwick his first Emmy nomination and win. Now, Chadwick's wife, Simone Ledwards Bosman, accepted the award on her late husband's behalf. Now, she spoke to the crowd about how her late husband recorded the role amidst his private health battle. Now, this is what she had to say. She said, what a beautifully aligned moment it really is that one of the last things he would work on would not only be revisiting a character that was so important to him and his career, but also to the world. But also, it's an exploration of something new. That's what she had to say. Now, recall that Chadwick Boseman played the legendary Black Panther in one of Marvel's most celebrated movies of all times. Now, Chadwick died shortly after uh, with colon cancer and passed away on August 28, 2020. Now, other notable winners at the Emmys Awards were Barack Obama, who became the first U.S. president to win a competitive Emmy as an outstanding narrator for Netflix, Our Great National Parks. There was also RuPaul, who made history once again, extending his Emmy streak as the most winning black artist ever, with a record seven consecutive wins for outstanding host for a reality or competition program. That's not all. Musicians, the eight-year-old uh, singer Paul McCartney, the multi-award winning singer Adele, and American rapper Eminem swooped their first Emmy wins, making them each a Tony away from EGOAT status. Now, what that means is, is a recognition given to artists who have won an Emmy Award, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Well, if any of them or all of them decide to win a Tony very soon, that will give them their status. Well, that's the much we can take on entertainment. Um, very exciting stories there. I mean, when you talked about Chadwick Boseman, who of mm -hmm. course played the child and Black Panther, mm -hmm. my heart, you know, did skip a bit because we all know the impact of what he did and with mm -hmm. that character. Mm -hmm. So we're so happy that he left a beautiful legacy and mm -hmm. is still living even beyond him. So Chadwick Boseman, the Chala, the Black Panther lives on. We celebrate him. All right, thanks a lot, uh, Sam Dandy, for stopping by and of course sharing, those, uh, sharing with us those very juicy stories. I uh, would uh, definitely be seeing you again soon. Thank you for having me.